Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. And uh, this is the class number 14. So tomorrow we finish unit number three. Mañana terminamos pues la unidad número tres. So welcome back. I know some of you have some kind of difficulties. We're going to wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un poco más. Algunos me comentan. Some of you have sent me messages. And the traffic is like a big problem. So let's see if we can start with some of the participants that we have now. Vamos a ver si me escucha Gustavo. Hello, ¿puedes escucharme, Gustavo? Hello, teacher. Sí. sí teacher. Okay. okay, very nice. Thank you. Okay. Let me check this. Okay, so um, I know some of you have difficulties and you're like listener. And um, class number 14, I hope you have advanced, espero que hayan avanzado with the, the platform because tomorrow I'm going to check the, the grades. I know you have had some time, un poquito de tiempo, to advance because remember, if you don't work on the platform, uh, you're going to accumulate uh, homeworks and that is going to be like a problem later because you're going to be like um, overwhelmed because of all the work you have to do, okay? Simple past information questions. Uh, we have studied affirmative, negative, and questions with the simple past, right? So uh, we don't have problems doing that. We now understand how the past works, right? And we have past to be and past of regular and irregular verbs. So, let me show you something. And this is like uh, for, well, uh, simple questions. How many traffic accidents have you seen? How many traffic accidents have you seen? In my opinion, I guess I have seen like four. But depends on you. So, I needed to write here. On the chat, I have seen like, for example, here, I have seen, yo he visto, I have seen, incluso pueden hacerlo así, I've seen. Puede ser, I have seen or I've seen. Depends on you. This is the present perfect. Es presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Yo he visto. Okay, I'm going to wait. I'm going to take your answers, please. Uh, let's see the chat.
So let's, okay, let's check uh, your answers. Here we have Noe, two accidents, Guillermo, four, okay. A lot, uh, Alejandra, two accidents, Oscar, 10 accidents, okay. Wow, that, that's, that's a lot of, of accidents, okay. Uh, Rivas, one accident, Graciela, one accident. Okay, Oscar, do you have any idea why you have uh, witnessed a lot of accidents? Any reason why? Because maybe you work, you work, well, you have to. I, 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 I drive every day, I, I, I driving. Okay, you drive, but I mean, you drive from your house to, to your workplace or your work? I work, consists... I work drive. On driving. Yes. Oh, okay. That's the reason. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yes. Because you have more contact with streets, with a lot of cars, dif uh, different types of uh, drivers. So, wow. But then. And, and about uh, and on these 10 accidents, I, I have been part of two accidents. Oh, come on. You have been the victim or you have had the fault? The maybe? victim. The victim. Okay. Okay, victim, yeah, and well, in the center, in the urban area, maybe, not yes, necessarily. The urban. Yeah, because of the traffic. One in the, just yep. one in the urban and two in the other, in the, how do you Coast say, thing? carretera? Yeah, on highway, okay. On highway. On yes. highway, okay. And... Um, because freeway is autopista, so highway could it be ah. so. Yeah, There's well, uh, yeah, come on, two accidents. And well, uh, thank God you you didn't have like injuries, wounds, heridas. You have some. The, the, in the, the accident has been in the highway. Yes, I, uh, more uh, maybe materials material okay but, material uh, uh, lost material. perdidas materiales okay so material lost okay yeah well um i guess you have seen a lot visto bastantes you have seen a lot of accidents here we have also gustavo gustavo says many accidents but gustavo doesn't give like a a, a concrete number but the rest of you, two accidents, four accidents, Guillermo, yeah, four accidents. It's a like a like a big number, right? You have always uh, travel on, on public transportation, Guillermo, or maybe you have been driving, or how? Mm, no, I was driving when I see the accident. Okay. So, well, come on. Okay, a question for you, Guillermo and Oscar. In those accidents, have you seen, yeah, like uh, people, well, people who died? I mean, uh, because there are different levels of accidents, right? So, yes. no loss, no human loss. Perdidas humanas, yes? No. Yes, yes, I, I'm, I, yes. Just uh, injured and like uh, injured, sir, an old, old sir, un señor anciano, okay. lo atropellaron. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's kind of, of, of diffy. Well, that, that's really hard. Yeah, with, with elders. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. Uh, in your case, uh, Oscar, you have seen like elders, uh, mayores. Yes. One, oh. one, once uh, I I I go in the bus and uh, the the driver uh, stop and get down a uh, a person of being drunk. Oh, okay. He. Uh huh, and when he crossed the the street, the highway, oh, uh huh, okay. the highway, because a car, a car hit that person. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's another 
complicated situation when, when uh, drunk drunkards are like well drunk people usually men okay they, they are careless so I mean they cuidado they're careless they yes. just go by okay thank you Oscar oh, Gustavo you have seen some uh, well many accidents you said right yes teacher okay uh, I, was, I was working on the street driving for my work Oh, okay. Your work consists of movement, right? So you have to go from one place to another. So yeah, you have like a lot of contact with the, well, accidents, for example. Okay. So mm -hmm. can you give me a number of how many accidents have you had? Maybe five, seven, ten, maybe an approximate number. Numero aproximado? Okay, a lot. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, I'm going to check the attendance list, my friends. Here we have different forms to say what time is it. Diferentes maneras para preguntar la hora. Okay, so it is very common that we use what time is it. That 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 is the most common, and that's okay. It is not bad to ask what time is it because that's the real question. But we have some other alternatives in case you want to say something different. For example, what time is it is the, is the proper one. But here we have, what is the time? Do you have the time? Excuse me, do you know what time is it? And the last one, could you tell me the time please? Okay, what time is it? What is the time? Do you have time? Excuse me, do you know what time is it? And could you tell me the time, please? Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. And please, my friends, I need you to say hi, hello, good evening. And then, please, mention one of these phrases. Uh, do we have Adi here? Maybe not. Okay. Ana Cristina, I don't know. Elias, I don't know. Rivas. Present teacher, what time is it? Thank you, Rivas. Uh, Claudia, I don't know. Daniel, we have Daniel. David, I don't know if David is here. Okay. Uh, Alejandra. Good evening. Hello, what Alejandra. is the time? Thank you. What is the time? Evelyn. Hi. I guess Evelyn is here. Okay. Not Evelyn by the moment. Graciela. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Tell me the your phrase. Do you have the time? Okay, thank you. Okay, Guillermo. Present teacher, what thank is you. the time? It's perfect. Jose Andres is here. I don't know if Jose is here. Okay. Uh, John? I guess you're there, right, John? Okay, and what about Katia? Hi, good evening. Good what evening. Time is it? Okay, what time is it? Uh, Maritza, are you there? Yes, present. Thank you. Do you have the time? Perfect, good one. Okay, I guess Marvin is not here. No, is listener. And Gustavo. Thank you, Noe. Okay, I know you had some difficulties. No problem, Noe. Okay, uh, Gustavo, hello. I'm sorry. Could you tell me, tell me the time, please? Perfect, sounds good, thank you. 
Okay, what about Oscar? Present, excuse me, do you know what time is it? Good one, thank you. Rosalie, I don't know if Rosalie is here. Susana, do we have Susie? Okay, and Teresa. Present teacher, excuse me, do you know what time is it? Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's move. So here we have, just give me a second. Okay, we're going to check again the structure of um, simple past. So, if you if you notice here, we have an irregular verb. It is in the past. El, nom el nombre, el verbo normal es it, pero como está en pasado afirmativo, eight, ok, you ate, she ate. For negatives, we have to use didn't para todo. Didn't es como decir did not. And in this case, here we have the base form, la forma base del verbo, normal. And for questions, el verbo igual, normal, es forma base, but here we're going to use did, okay? Uh, she ate dinner, she didn't eat dinner, did she eat dinner? Yes, she did, or oh, no, she didn't, okay? So simple uh, like this, okay? And in the case of this one, Maybe we could have some other verb, okay? Regular or irregular, it doesn't matter. But here we have the structure for affirmative, negative, and question. So let's move with this. And here we have this. I'm going to give you the time. And I know you have a list of verbs. Ustedes tienen la lista de verbos que yo se las he mandado. Yo las he enviado, okay? So I need you to check some of these sentences are questions. Algunas oraciones son preguntas. Some others are, well, affirmatives in past, simple past. Necesito que revisen. Please take a look at this. Al menos tengan listas tres por si les pregunto, okay? In the case. And you have the, the list of verbs I have given to you. Más que todo la que, una que dice 101 verbos, me parece, okay? In present and past. En un momento les pregunto.
Okay, my friends, we're going to start uh, working on this. Um, volunteers, I guess uh, we have like easy, easy verbs, okay? Maybe we can start this time with um, Oscar, could you? From eight to 15. Uh, the number 14. Okay, number 14. What do you consider? Yes. Uh, it say how many times did you read that book? Okay, nice. How many times? Uh huh. Did you? Yes. I'm sorry, I'm going to change the size of this. Okay, did mm -hmm. you, right? Yes. Uh huh. Did you? And then the verb? Read that book. Okay, good. Just in this case, it is not in the past. It's read. Okay. Uh -huh. How many okay. times did you read that book? Perfect, my friend. Guillermo, please. Uh, number nine. What time did you got up this morning? Good one. Okay. What time? Yes. Did you? Yes. Get up. Mm -hmm. Get up this morning okay perfect good because we are working with questions uh, Graciela hi hi teacher mm -hmm. are you ready number 15 please I forgot to bring my money oh yes yes I'm sorry yes Uh, casually, it is bring. Casualmente, sí, es bring. Uh, desafortunadamente, unfortunately, olvidé traer mi dinero. No olvidé, traía. Mm -hmm. Olvidé traer mi dinero. Thank you. Kind of complicated. Noé, are you okay? Can you participate? Ok, eh, se te escucha un poquito lejos, pero vamos a ver. What number? The number 10. Ajá. Uh -huh. The Wright Brothers flew the, air, the first airplane in 1903. Perfect. Yeah, the Wright Brothers flew. Yeah, and that's correct. Thank you, Noé. Thank you for participating. Rivas, what about you? Are you okay? Number eight. Number eight, Should, please. Shouldn't eat the animal jump and beat my hand? Okay, yes. It is like this. Yes, to, uh, it's bit because in the in the simple present, it's bite. So that's okay. Thank you. Alejandra, what about you? Maybe 11, 12, 13. Okay, it's no, Alejandro. 11. Okay, 11, go. When I was 10 years old, I broke mm -hmm. my arm. I really hurt. Yeah, and the verb hurt, it's the one of the verbs that we like. Uno de los verbos que eh, nos gusta. No, porque no cambia. It doesn't change, right? It's kind of easy. So yes, when I was 10, I broke my arm. It really hurt. Thank you. Okay, and what about Gustavo? Can you help us, Gustavo? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think I hear a strange song outside the door of one menu. Eh, eh. Ago. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Ago. Oh. Así. Sí, oh. así. Ago. Ago. Okay. ok. Yeah. I think I heard. En presente se dice hear. Como aquí. Pero también hear significa escuchar. ¿Verdad? Eh, so heard. ¿Verdad? Pero escucho. Thank you. Eh, here we have 13. Eh, Maritza. 
Could you help us, please, with number 13? Um, the uh -huh. All three of the bank robbed last week. Okay. Let's see. Cow. No, sé cómo okay, se no, that, that's correct. Coat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Maritza. You are right. The police caught all the three. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, ¿por qué la número 15 no es brought en vez de ring? Ah, buena pregunta. Porque aquí dice, desafortunadamente, yo olvidé traer mi dinero. Entonces, cuando normalmente tenemos esta palabra, to, esto se le llama infinitivo. Entonces, cuando vean la palabra to, el verbo que sigue no va a tener ningún, este, ninguna alteración. Ni en presente, ni en futuro, ni en tercera persona, ni con ING, ni nada. Esa, esa es la clave. Cuando vean la palabra to y después un verbo, va en su forma base. O sea, en presente. Uh -huh. Thank you, Entonces, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Esa es la regla gramatical. Y este, con el tema del significado, ¿verdad? Desafortunadamente olvidé traer mi dinero. Ok. But uh, very good. Uh, very good point. Buen punto el haberte fijado. Thank you. Well, uh, if you notice, we are okay with this uh, exercise. Now, um, we have studied didn't, did. Hemos utilizado esto, ¿verdad? Para revisarlo. Pero también tenemos acá el pasado del verb be. Uh, if we compare, we have different grammar structures. Um, for example, ate, uh, didn't, did. Cuando estamos utilizando el verbo to be, when we use verb be, we don't need that. No necesitamos el didn't, no necesitamos el did. Solo necesitamos el was, el were y la palabra not para las negativas. Okay. So, um, if you notice here, we have questions with right, I'm sorry, questions, right was or were remember that we use was for singular nouns when we are talking about one thing one person but where is for plural okay i'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you can check this and we're going to start in a moment Okay, let's move. And here we have just two options, was and were, okay? And for this one, I would like you to start with Evelyn, okay? Evelyn, and then we go with Maritza. Okay, Evelyn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Remember, was or were. <laughs> Number one, okay, read the complete sentence. Uh, what? Uh, what? what? Okay, uh, tienes que leer la completa, lee la completa, please. Okay, when was you born? Okay, was se va con singular, y aunque you se utiliza como singular, es, se utiliza were. Are equivale a were, okay? Is equivale. And we go now with uh, Guillermo. I'm sorry, Maritza and then Guillermo, please. Okay, Maritza. Number four. Number mm -hmm. four. How long were they in Spain? Yes. How long? 
pueden anotar esta, esta, esta frase, how long, thank you Maritza, significa por cuánto tiempo, o sea, el tiempo de que, que te vas a tardar, que vas a hacer en algún lugar, so how long were they in Spain, Guillermo? Okay, number two, who was the winner? Yeah, who was the winner, for example, in these games that we have, we have seen. Okay, uh, let's move to Rivas and then Alejandra. Okay, Rivas. How much was the coat? Okay, how much was the coat? Mm -hmm. Good. Coat is el abrigo. How much? How much was the coat? Good one. Okay, Alejandra, are you there? And then Oscar. How were the weather? How, okay, weather, weather significa clima. It is not where, it was. How was the weather? Okay, thank you. Uh, what about if we listen to Oscar? Number eight, how many ducks were there? Yes, how many dogs mm -hmm. were they? Dogs, plural. Good one. Okay, Gustavo, please. Okay, teacher. Why, why was she loud, laughing? Laughing. Uh, yes. Mm. Casualmente, cuando utilizamos la G y la F en algunos... Eh, En algunas palabras, voy a tomar eso. Thank you, Gustavo. Well done. Bien hecho. Eh, love. Todo esto, la G y la H, hace un sonido de F. Raro, ¿verdad? I know, it's kind of real. So, love, tough, all dog. Ok. So, when you see this, it's a pattern. Es un patrón. Y si ustedes ven, eh, normalmente lleva la U. U-G-H. U-G-H. So, it's of. Love, tough, all dove. Okay? And so on. Okay? Y hay otro, otros ejemplos así. So, well. So, why was she laughing? ¿Por qué ella estaba riéndose? Por riendo. Thank you. Well done. And I don't know if we have David. Are you there, David? Yes, teacher. I am here. Okay. Uh, was or where? Mm -hmm. With the penguins. Was teacher. Was teacher. Where was oh. the penguins? Okay. Penguins. Uh, but penguins, it's plural. Penguins. Aha. Uh -huh. Was is para singular. Y where ah, is okay. para plural. Where. Yes. Where, where? Mm -hmm. Where, where, yo sé que se escucha raro como where, where, como <laughs> rana, ¿verdad? But yeah, it is like uh, the correct pronunciation. Teacher, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre esta y la otra palabra? Normalmente a esta se dice where, but English speakers, they say the same sound. They hacen el mismo sonido, where, where. Yeah, I know. So, thank you. And here we have now another exercise doing uh, with was and were. So we complete this and let's move to this questions. Have you ever seen a traffic accident? Tell the anecdote. I know some of you already mentioned uh, some of the most complicated accidents that you have witnessed, but maybe we can have like another anecdote. Okay. You have the you have seen the scene. Ha visto la escena. There is a damage. Hay un daño. Okay. Bueno, esta es una canción de Death Leopard. When uh, love and hate collide. Collide es colisionar. Que okay, cuando chocan. So what? Well, just for you to know. So maybe we can have some of the participations here. I would like to know some of you. Maybe we can have Teresa. I don't know if Teresa is available.
Teresa, no. No, by the moment. Okay. Uh, David, please, my friend. Okay, teacher. Uh, on one occasion, I was at the bus stop when a motorcycle lost, lost control and collier with a pickup. Uh, the motorcyclist deer from the impact. Okay, this guys. Was, uh -huh, this was in the capital San Salvador last year. Oh, come on. Okay. And you were standing in the bus stop, right? You were waiting for your bus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, it is like very impacting right and that's one of the reasons why the the fines la multas the fines have changed because it's like a lot of accidents and people dead people because of those accidents thank you david good point okay maybe we can have some other maybe rivas are you ready Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, I have only seen that after the accident has happened. Okay, do you remember when or where it happened? Oh, no accidents. I don't know if and you... I in the moment, not too sure. By the no. moment, no accident. Okay, good for you, Rivas, because okay, that is not something good. It is not something that you want to, to, to see, right? It only it happens. Thank you, Rivas. Okay, what about Maritza? Um, I didn't see the scene, teacher. No accidents? Mm, no. You have not seen accidents, okay? You are fortunate. Uh, you are fortunate, similar to Rivas, because yeah. you haven't seen any accident. Porque no han visto accidentes. So, uh, there mm. are some people that they have with traumas. Terminan con traumas after watching some accidents. Well, depends. Thank you, Maritza. Alejandra, what about you? And then Graciela. Alejandra, I don't know if you have seen accidents. Um, I have seen a one accident, and the motor motorcycle accidents are just very frequent. Yep. And for example, in my cousin is a pro. Uh, some bones. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, she recovers, but I she continued on the motorcycle. <laughs> okay, she yeah okay. Uh, so it was like an accident, but it was not so hard. Maybe no fue tan grave, no not so complicated, mm. right? Uh, so so. <laughs> So, so, yes, but something good is that the, that person continues, mm -hmm. but uh, every uh, every biker or maybe riders, all of them, they have to take care. Even I, I ride motorcycle, okay? So I, I, I ride and yes, you have to pay attention to everything. Okay, so thank you. Uh, Alejandra, good point. Uh, Graciela, what about you? I have seen one accident, but I didn't see it directly. I was just nearby when a bus, a bus pardon, <laughs> mm -hmm. ran over a man. And unfortunately, the man was left under the bus. Okay, yes. Well, fortunately, 
Yes. Okay, nothing worse yeah. happens. Yeah, come on. Kind of complicated. Okay. And, and even there are some people that, as I, as I said before, they have to go to the psychologist because of that impact. Okay. Yes, but I don't have enough morbidite to see the easy. Hmm? But the people who were sell me the easy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, maybe we can listen to Katia. I don't know, Katia, if you're available to share your experience related to accidents. I know maybe you have seen accidents. If not, maybe we can continue with Jose. Are you there, Jose? Uh, yes, yes, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> In your okay, case, teacher. Mm -hmm. yes, teacher. In my case, uh, many times I saw many uh, traffic accidents and accidents, right? You know, in harsh hours, most of the time when the cars crash, right in the harsh time. And also, I remember one time, um, some weeks ago, right, while with my co-workers right uh, we were in in the park right in Sacamil city right we were working basically and we we saw when two cars crash right and and they right people the people uh, they get out of the car right and they start to argue who is responsible right yeah things no, like I that Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay well that's kind of difficult because as you mentioned the rush hour it is like um the time when everybody wants to go to their workplace or or to their houses but quickly yeah. and nowadays because of the traffic jams it is uh, even more difficult right to move so, and people are very angry, and they are very mad, they are careless. So, yeah, it is very frequent to have some accidents, especially in rush hour. En la hora, pico, en la hora del relajo. Thank you, Jose. Very, very good point. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to continue uh, with this activity of reading. Look at this. Read the following email about customer's problem, okay? So, and here we have um, Peter at uh, jmail.com. The subject, complaint about a trip. Complaint is queja. Sin la T, solo complaint es quejarse. Pero con T ya es un sustantivo que es queja. Complaint about a trip from uh, h-a-s-e-r dot r at jmail dot com. So, I need you to help me reading some of these uh, sentences. We're going to start with uh, Guillermo and then we go with Oscar. So, Guillermo, from the first part to this, okay? Okay. Last week, I have the change to travel with your company to another country. Thank you. Oscar, you go. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the boss that you assigned me in didn't have uh, AC. AC. Okay, imagine in a, a very narrow bus and no AC with a long trip. Difficult. Thank you. And we are going to have Maritza, please. It was... And after Maritza, we're going to have Rivas. It was a long drive, and the bus was very slow. Thank you. And Rivas, I am. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, in the inconvenience I had. Had is el pasado de had. Es con las inconveniencias que yo tuve. 
for the program. So if you notice uh, here, we have not one complaint, but some other reasons. It is not just one reason why this a uh, customer is not happy. Okay, so here we have this. And uh, here we have questions, one, two, and three, okay? Uh, I need you to read one of these questions and then we're going to go back and read the paragraph. Maybe David, can you select one of these um, questions? And then we're going to check the text for us to have an idea. Uh, number one. Okay. For this, uh, uh, passenger. 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 Okay. Passenger. Okay, where did the passenger go? ¿A dónde fue? Mm -hmm. Look at the second sentence in the second oración. Your company? Your mm -hmm. company? No. I had a chance to travel with your company to? Another country. Another country. It doesn't mention specifically the name of the country, but... Uh, you can imagine that it was a long trip because another country, it means a lot of hours traveling by bus. Okay. Um, let's see. Maybe Oscar can help us with number two or three. Number two says, why did the passenger consider it, it a bad experience? Okay, Sample. why? Hmm? Example. Can you mention mm -hmm. one of the reasons? Uh, because the bus, the bus was very slow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a long trip, and the bus because the trips are usually long. But imagine and... here the bus was very slow. Imagine a lot of hours to another country. Very slow. Mm -mm. Not a good idea. Thank you, Oscar. Very good point. And here we have also um. And let's see, Guillermo, could you help me with number three, please? Okay, maybe Guillermo is not ready. And maybe Gustavo can help us with number three. Okay, teacher. What, what did the passage send that email? Ok, yo creo que en lugar de what, creo que es why. Porque dice que si fuera por qué, diría por qué el pasajero envió, envía el, el correo o envió el correo. Aquí en cambio dice que el, el, el pasajero envía el correo. Entonces sería por qué. Ok, here we have uh, like uh, the title, right, Gustavo? To? Complain. Complaints, okay. ¿Te recuerdas qué es complaint, Gustavo? No, no, no okay. recuerdo. Okay, no. complaint significa queja. Sin la T no. es quejarse. So this person is complaining, se está quejando, and we have some other reasons. Let's see the reasons. Um, the, okay, the didn't have AC, no tenía aire acondicionado. The bus was very slow. Okay. So, this person is complaining, está quejándose. And it's, I'm considering not traveling with you again. Entonces, ya perdieron un cliente. Okay. This person is not going to travel with this company again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Here we're going to have a speaking activity. Okay. This speaking activity, it's kind of easy. Okay, select uh, an antonym for the underlined word in the sentence in the word bank, right? The antonym on the line, okay? So, we're going to write the antonym. Vamos a escribir eh, la palabra opuesta. Sinónimos son eh, palabras similares. Antonym is lo opuesto. Okay, so here we have a bank words. Tenemos un banco de palabras. Eh, lo voy a poner a trabajar. We're going to work in pairs. So you can look for the 
meanings. Pueden buscar los significados en on internet. And we're going to come back here. Recuerden que las palabras subrayadas son las que vamos a, a buscar como, por ejemplo, clean. Aquí tenemos otras palabras en lugar de clean. Lo opuesto de clean. Lo opuesto de always, de careful. Y así sucesivamente. Ok. And please, uh, maybe uh, Maritza can help us send in uh, this. Ok, thank you. Ya nos enviaron esta imagen. So we're not going to have any problem. And I'm going to send. Lo voy a enviar a los grupos pequeños. Just give me a second. Okay, see you in a moment. Ok, en el caso de Alejandra, yo envié la solicitud a Graciela también. So you can um, accept the request. Pueden solic eh, aceptar la solicitud, Doris, Alejandra y Graciela.
So my friends, I know that you have some words that maybe you didn't have an idea what is the meaning, but uh, that are part of the new vocabulary. So let's see what can we do with this part. So maybe we can have, in this case, David, do you have anyone? Okay, teacher, number one, mm -hmm. Gail keeps a clean kitchen. Okay. Uh, and Tony fit, fitly. Yes, filthy. Mm -hmm. Filthy, okay. Filthy is the antonym. Okay, thank you. So uh, what about if we listen to... Let's see, Rivas. Number two, David always well to well in the morning. Uh, the anatomy is never. Yes, that's correct. Never. Okay. And what about if we listen to Gustavo? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. When I was a uh, child, I was careful with my toys. Uh, and Anthony is clumsy. Okay, you say clumsy. Hello? No. Okay, Gustavo, I didn't listen. Okay. Okay, maybe we have some difficulties. I'm going to check again. Clean, you say filthy. Always, never, you say clumsy. Okay, let's see, clumsy here. Uh, maybe we can have um, Rivas. I don't know if you, no sé si ya pasaste, si no, I'm con Maritza. Number four, teacher, those four. apples are raw. The hmm. antonymy, right. Yes, ripe. Thank you. Maritza, what about you? Number eight. Mm -hmm. Bill's boss was very rude to him. Mm -hmm. Anthony is polite. Okay, polite. It's this. Anthony, okay, very nice. And what about if we listen now to Jose? You have yours, Jose? Um, no, no. Okay, what about uh, Guillermo? Um, let me see. Mm, number nine mm -hmm. is talkative. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Guillermo, what about you? I'm sorry, Guillermo, we go with Oscar. Number 10. Mm -hmm. uh, Alice is a quiet shop assistant and the antonyms is gloomy. Okay. Okay, aunque gloomy in este caso significa como sombrío. Yes. Mm, quiet, calmado, 
pero cheerful es como alegre. Ajá. Maybe gloomy could be. Okay, let's start. Vamos a intentar aquí. Gloom here. Okay. Um, let's listen to some other. Maybe we can have here a uh, Graciela or Alejandra. Lo voy a dar con otros. Aquí, Gather. ¿Qué sería esta? Uh, here we have Calm. This. Y aquí sería Confident. Ok, could it be like this. Ok. So, thank you, and uh, we continue now with some other part of this. Here we have, have you ever seen a traffic accident? I know uh, the last time Guillermo was saying that he has seen accidents. Maybe you can mention some other accident, maybe one with less impact that you witnessed, Guillermo. And even there are some people that fell down. Hay gente que se cae. Because we are uh, mainly accustomed to see car crash, ver un choque de carros, or motorcycle crash. But even there are some people that they fell down. Hay gente que se cae, or slide, que se desliza. Okay? People wounded, gente herida, in, in, with different situations at home. If not, we can listen now to Oscar. Okay, Oscar, any other that you remember? Mm, maybe uh, feel down by, okay. by a bus, the, the, the part the, in front of the bus. Okay, and even in front of the bus and the back part of the bus, when people is like getting uh, down, cuando se va bajando, people get yes. down. In sometimes coasters or yeah buses, they are very crazy to drive, right? And people fell down. I have seen this. Yes, it's, it's, it's usually. Yes, it's usually, and unfortunately, it happens to elders. Que pasa a personas mayores, lastimosamente. Thank you, Oscar. Very good. Um, uh, very good point. And what about Gustavo? Gustavo mentioned that you have seen a lot of accidents. Maybe uh, can you mention some other type of accident you have seen? Okay, teacher. Hmm? Yesterday I was coming with my my wife near the Lempa Rivers. A car okay. had an accident while a motorcycle. Uh, the the boys on the motorcycle had many blows. Okay. Okay. So it was like very fast. It was rapid. So fast, maybe. Yeah. Yes. That, that, that's another, yeah, maybe cause of uh, the accidents. Okay. And near the Lempa River. And in that case, the, the highway is kind of, yes, wide and poquito amplio. So that's why people like to run a lot. Thank you, Gustavo and Teresa. I don't know if Teresa is here. Okay, and maybe we can listen. I don't know if Katia or Evelyn. Evelyn was here a moment ago. Okay, so let's move to this part. Vamos a movernos a esto. In this case, here we have how to use simple past information questions. If you notice, if there is a point here. Aquí hay algo bien curioso. If we change these WH questions, si quitamos 
las preguntas con WH. What, where, who, why, how. Si quitamos todo eso, all the questions, todas las preguntas van a comenzar con el did. Todas comienzan con el did. Right? So, that is the basic form of the questions. Las preguntas deben de comenzar con el did. Si son preguntas cerradas o son preguntas abiertas. Okay. But in this case, we are, uh, are using information questions. Estamos utilizando las preguntas de información. En este caso, vamos a utilizar todas esas eh, palabras o preguntas que tengan las siguientes. What, where, when, mm, why, who, how. Cualquiera de esas pueden utilizarse. What, where, when, why, who, how. Sabemos que what significa que, where, donde, when, cuando, why, por qué, who, quién, y how significa cómo. Ok. So this, eh, Que, eh, these question words, estas palabras para las preguntas son bastante importantes y se utilizan para obtener eh, información. Cuando usamos las preguntas con el do o con el did, normalmente la respuesta es yes, no. Pero cuando utilizamos este tipo de palabras, what, where, when, why, who, or how, ya las respuestas van a variar. No va a ser yes or no. Así que tenemos la primera. Noé, can you help me with number one and two? Okay, Noé, I'm sorry. Noé, este, puedes activar el micrófono now. Thank you. What did What did you buy? Where did you fly to? Thank you. Much. Okay, let's listen now to Oscar, please. With the answer, I bought and he flew. I bought a vacation, a vacation package. Yes. I flew to another country. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to Gustavo now. Number three, number four. Uh, Gustavo, please activate the, the microphone. Ah, okay. When did we pay for the service? Mm -hmm. How did they, they think of, of the pro, promo motion? promotion? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here we have this. Guillermo, can you help me with sentence three and four, please? Short answers. Yes, sir. Sure. Um, we paid for the service last month. They found, found out about it on internet. Thank you. Okay. And here we have a word that I like you to write. No sé que escribieran esta. Find out significa darse cuenta. Found out es el pasado. Okay. So, if you want, you can write. Si quieren, pueden anotarlos. So, I'm having some difficulties with this. Okay. Find out, darse cuenta, found out, el pasado. Okay. Now, we're going to use this. Uh, we're going to use this form. Vamos a utilizar esta para, pues, este, escribirla. Necesito que me hagan una de esas preguntas, cualquiera, utilizando what, utilizando how, why, where, who. ¿Ok? Cualquiera de estas, similar a estas preguntas. ¿Ok? Let's see. So, here we have this. Vamos a utilizar why en el chat. 
y ponemos, lo vamos a escribir en el chat primero y después las decimos, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, where did you buy that uh, shirt? ¿Dónde compraste esa camisa? ¿Ok? Los espero y luego les pregunto. Okay, let's see. Uh, you have completed a lot of questions. I like it. Okay, can you read your? No, eh?
Are you there, Noe? Ok. Well, if you can, si puedes leer, Marina. Where did you fly last year? Thank you, my friend. We go with David. Hi, teacher. Uh, where did you bring the report? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Maritza. What did you do on the weekend? Mm -hmm. Okay, we go with Oscar. Uh, what did you see on Sunday? Okay. Thank you, Guillermo. Okay, you have, yeah, I like it. Maybe can you see? Um... Oh. How uh, how did you learn to drive? Perfect. Aquí está el claro ejemplo de lo que yo explicaba. Aquí Guillermo lo estaba poniendo. How did you learn to drive? Okay. And maybe can you read why, please? Okay. Uh, why did you leave your house? Thank you. Okay, here we have also uh, Gustavo, please. Okay, DJ. Where did, did you work yesterday? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, and these are just examples because uh, here you have yours. And for example, also Guillermo said, uh, who did you help to cook? Easy, no complications for this. No tenemos problemas para eso. Okay, and let's continue with this. We're going to have a listening. Vamos a tener un listening. Se lo puedo poner dos veces. And then please, then we uh, come back. Después regresamos y me dicen qué palabras, qué frases escucharon. Okay, let's listen. I'm going to play two times so you can have an opportunity to uh, listen and to write down phrases or words. Golf and today was the first day's play in the IBM Open in Tennessee. Stormy weather played its part and the players didn't tee off until around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Once play did get underway, the Australian Mark Chappell played some superb shots and finished the day on five under par 67. Two shots clear of Mark McGonagall from Scotland and the local boy Chav Connor. Shot of the day, however, went to the unknown Canadian Rose Wirter, who made an unbelievable hole in one on the short 12 hole. Wirter held his head in his hand as his wayward shot seemed to be heading for the lake, but it miraculously hit a wooden post, bounced back onto the green and into the hole to the delight of the capacity crowd. Okay, let's listen one more time. Golf and today was the first day's play in the IBM Open in Tennessee. Stormy weather played its part 
in the players didn't tee off until around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Once play did get underway, the Australian Mark Chappell played some superb shots and finished the day on 5 under par 67. Two shots clear of Mark McGonagall from Scotland and the local boy Chav Connor. Shot of the day, however, went to the unknown Canadian Rose Wirter who made an unbelievable hole in one on the short 12 hole. Wirter held his head in his hand as his wayward shot seemed to be heading for the lake but it miraculously hit a wooden post, bounced back onto the green and into the hole to the delight of the capacity crowd. Okay, my friends, maybe we can have some of the, your opinions. Uh, I'd like to hear maybe... Uh, Noe, okay, tell me. Okay. The shot clear of... Golf today was the first play. One play did underway. Short hit it in the lake. That's it. Yes, that, that that's correct. Thank you. Okay, good. And talking about golf, right? And what about maybe we can have, I don't know if Doris Alejandra is available. Maybe we can have Maritza. Rose and today, third play. One play. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Yes. Good. Okay. David, what about you? I don't don't me escuché teacher bien la el audio. Okay. No problem. Let's listen to Rivas. Any idea or word, Rivas? Okay, teacher. Uh, first day opening in the Tennessee, it was played on the wire. Okay, thank you very much. Let's listen maybe to some other, uh, maybe Gustavo. Okay, teacher, on the, on the park, 67. Okay, thank you very much. I, aquí les eh, muestro el, como el párrafo para que le demos una revisada. Ok, thank you. Uh, the last activity, la última actividad que vamos a tener es la siguiente. We have some worksheet en la primera que tenemos acá, number one. Vamos a escribir, espérense, le voy a mover eh, de mejor manera. Ok, here. We're going to complete this 
These are the words that we're going to use. Estas son las palabras que vamos a utilizar acá. Okay. So we're going to use this in these spaces, in estos espacios. Okay. Here we have an example. Tenemos un ejemplo. I saw someone. Vi a alguien. Y la pregunta sería, who did you see? Aquí tenemos la... Vamos a tener... Vaya, aquí tenemos esta. Number six. The meeting finished late. La reunión terminó tarde. Ok, vamos a ver acá. Dice, time did the meeting finish. ¿Cuál de estas utilizaríamos? Obviamente utilizaríamos what. What time, what time did, did the meeting finish? Ok, terminamos esto pues eh, rápidamente. Vamos a, a, a trabajarlo en equipo. Cuando regresemos, este, eh, lo, lo completamos. Y eh, me gustaría que enviaran una captura de pantalla. Sería la última Gracias. actividad. Thank you, Maritza. Thank you very much. Bien, trabajamos en esto. Sería la última actividad. Cuando regresemos lo completamos rápido, paso lista, and we say goodbye. Okay, my friends. So let's see who we have here. Okay, see you in a moment.
y no, ya no tiene Okay, my friends, we finished this activity and we say goodbye. Maybe we can have Maritza. Depends on you, uh, numbers from one to 10. Number? number three. Number three. Ten. Uh, number ten. 10. Okay, read the, the question. Yes. I didn't eat the, the chicken. chicken. Sería white. Okay. Why didn't you eat the chicken? The chicken, thank you. Okay, let's listen now to maybe Teresa, are you there? If not, let's go with Oscar, please, my friend. Number three, mm -hmm. she paid $10 and the answer is how much did she pay? Okay. How much? Yes, how much did she pay? That's totally correct. Okay, and we go now with Jose. Okay, Jose. Okay, um we have dinner. What did you have for dinner? Mm -hmm. What did you have for dinner? That's totally correct. Okay, and we have now maybe Gustavo and then Rivas. Okay, Gustavo maybe not available. Rivas, what about you? And then David. Your teacher number two, I got up at seven o'clock. Hmm? What time did you get up? Yes, thank you. What time did you get up? That's good. Okay, uh, I don't know if, if we have Graciela and then Guillermo. Okay, Gustavo, are you okay? Okay, teacher, este... Uh, hey, okay. I, play, I, I play tennis flat quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when, yeah. and when did you play tennis? Yes, when. Thank you. Okay, uh, Graciela, are you there? Yes, uh, teacher. Okay. Tell me. Number one, mm -hmm. they want to see Fiona. Okay. Mm -hmm. What they did they want to see? Ok, muy bien. Solo que eh, ellos querían ver a Fiona. Mm -hmm. eh, sería a quién querían ver. En este caso sería... Who. Who. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Ok, eh, Guillermo, please. Number seven. Mm -hmm. I ate an apple pie. Uh, what kind of pie did you eat? Okay, what kind of pie did you eat here? Totally correct. Oscar, can you help me with mo one more? Yes, number four. Mm -hmm. He didn't like the movie. Why didn't he like the movie? Yeah. Thank you. Marita, can you help me with uh, one more? We have number six and number nine. Could you? Num number nine. Mm -hmm. They wrote they wrote to Elian Seria who who did yeah. they write to? Yeah, who did uh, they write to? And Guillermo, can you help me please with number six? And we finished. And just to number six, the meeting finished late. 
Um, what time did the mini uh, the meeting finish? Yeah. What time did the meeting finish? Okay. Those are the correct answers. Thank you. I'm going to call you one by one. And uh, remember, uh, tomorrow to finish uh, unit number three. Uh, recuerden siempre terminar la unidad número tres para mañana, please. Uh, Adi, not here. Ana Cristina, I don't know. Elias, no. Rivas, yes, right. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia Marcela, no. Uh, Daniel, no. David, David, okay, David. Present. Perfect. Uh, Doris Alejandra, ya no me dijo nada. Evelyn, este, ya se desconectó. Graciela, I don't know. Present. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo. Present. Okay. Jose Andres. Present. Okay. Uh, let's see. Katia, I don't know. Maritza. Yes, right. Present. Thank you. No he tenido dificultades. Gustavo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar. Present. Okay, I don't know if Rosalía bien no sé si con esto al final Rosalía como no sé nada, I don't know. Susi, I don't know. And here we have Teresa. No sé si igual sigue conectada. Okay, my friends. See you. Um... Okay. Let's see. See you tomorrow, my friend. Have a good night. Pasen feliz noche. Good night. Bye bye, my friends. Good night. Sobre el término pasadísimo, voy con usted.